the audience for Project Renewment, which is the first retirement model for career women, is for any woman who has felt passionate about her work, who considers herself highly effective, and who was thinking about the next 30 years. The book is directed to women who are sometimes called part of the silent generation. These are women, let's say, in their mid-60s and early 70s. Uh, and then it's also directed to the upcoming 40 million boomer women, maybe a quarter of them or half of them, who consider themselves career women. So it's the just before that leading edge of the boomers. And this is this silent generate, if you will, is really the women's movement maturing. And during the women's movement, and a la Betty Friedan, they asked, is this all there is? Now these same women are looking to hopefully longevity and saying, after their career is over, they're asking the same question. Is, is this all there is? How, how is that identity shift different than the one that men go through? The, one of the key issues facing these women is identity. And it's easy to say, well, what's the big question? Because men have the same issue. And I think the real difference is the way men and women go about this. There is no question that identity is very important to men as they leave the workplace. The big difference is, and it's a generalization, is men don't talk. Women, when they have an issue, I don't know if it's in the DNA or if we're socialized, you get together with someone who's like-minded and you say, listen, I have something to talk about. Project Renewment is more than a book. Uh, I'd say it's three things. One, it's a process by which highly effective women can go through a certain number of steps, certain number of thoughts to reach some kind of conclusion on what they want the next chapter to look like. So one, it's a process. The other is Project Renewment refers to a forum a group of women, like-minded women, who are going to address issues dealing with their future. And the third thing that Project Renewment is, is a book. Women need to think about several things in getting ready for those next 30 or 35 years. The first is change, change takes time. It's really unrealistic to think that you're going to leave your first career and three days later it'll be clear to you what that next chapter is look, looks like. But again, this is for women who highly identify with their work. Women who not only identify themselves, but other people identify them, and they felt passionate about it. And the second, there's certain topics that one has to think about. Um, one is the role of finances in your life. That is a keystone. You have to be able to afford to make this change. The other is, and the big one, is identity. To think about what your identity has been and to what extent is important for you to have a new identity. It's called, one of the essays in our book is, Who am I without my business card? Another really important area is to think about the concept of productivity. We're a very work-oriented society very much influenced by the Puritan ethic. And this is good, we want a hard-working labor force. But productivity is part of what we're worth, and so when you leave the workplace, what does it really mean to be productive? Do we let external environments say we're productive, or is this something that has to come from within? Then there's certain relationship pieces. Um, if you're married or have a partner, and let's say if you're married, have a husband, what if, he, what if you would, if he retires before you, how does that work out? You may be in a, in a position of just reaching your peak because you've entered the labor force later and your husband says, honey, I got this great buyout offer, we're going to retire. We don't have role models for that because this is new. Mm -hmm. So this notion on relationships. But taking relationships one further, friendships. If you've been busy, work driven, and your whole social life is wrapped around your work and you leave, Who's your best friend? How do you go about making new friends at the age of 64? Is that possible? And I have to answer that question rhetorically. Project Renewment groups have been formed almost as small, enduring communities. And some of these women have said, at the age of 65, I never thought I would make a new best friend. Another piece that women need to think about is, we call it authenticity. 
and that sounds almost unimportant. But there's a certain time in your life where you say, is this who I really am? I've been the C CFO of a company, but who am I beyond that? And the key issue here is there are no role models, because this is the first, the first time in history so many career women are facing a future, they haven't quite figured it out. So it's new. And I have to say, career women have not been on the radar screen. I've worked with 10,000 employees in retirement education and have been involved with this field since the mid-70s. Career women have not had their special time because the assumption is that they're just the same as everybody else. And I'm going to suggest the issues may be the same, but they go about it very differently. And I think the big difference is the assumption that women will not have any problem in this transition because they always can go back to their primary or original role. And there's not a lot of evidence that supports that.